ahead. Talk. Hi, you guys. <laughs> talk. Talk. This is Ginger Cook, and I want to do a, a, a fast announcement about the, the upcoming month of tutorials that we'll be featuring on YouTube. And while John and I are traveling, we thought it would be fun to do a, a, a month of May uh, with palette knife uh, tutorials. And so we've, we've got a great selection of stuff that we're going to be doing. And right now in this short video, I'm going to show you, just introduce you to some paintings. And then I'm going to do a few quick demonstrations and suggest some materials you might want to have ready for our premieres. So each week we'll, we're going to premiere... Um, one of these uh, paintings and we'll be chatting and answering questions right along with you. This will be very exciting and we want to just bring a whole new facet of painting um, and show you how you can just kind of kind of expand your horizons with this. So John if you'll scoot down to the table here. Um, here's uh, there's uh, five videos that we've chosen to do as palette knives. Actually we kind of slipped into June too. Nobody can count over here apparently. <laughs> But <laughs> we asked and, Sammy, he said, yeah, do another one. <laughs> so uh, one of the ones I'm really proud of is this one. Uh, originally, uh, this painting was inspired by an artist named uh, Harriet Backer. And she lived in, Nor she was a Norwegian gal, phenomenal artist. This was one of her landscapes that I uh, created with a palette knife. And um, this is a fabulous video. I'm going to, today I'm going to show you a few things that you need to know to be able to do this. Uh, some of you may remember um, uh, Cozumel of uh, fl uh, flowers or uh, orchids. This was uh, inspired by a trip that John and I took to uh, Mexico Cozumel. some years, Cozumel, mm -hmm. a couple years ago. And I'm sh uh, we did originally we did it in pink, very f uh, with pink flowers, very flat. This one was done created. You can see all the texture in it. John, zoom in and show him the texture on this. Was was done with with a palette knife and all the colors are mixed at once. You don't you just kind of kind of layer it in and marble it in. And this is a great technique. And then these flowers, uh, the flowers are you know impasto built up. Each thing is done with modeling paste and gels. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, why would we want to go back and revisit some of these vid videos from YouTube? Because I think there's a way to recreate, maybe be more inspired. There's some great videos that we've created over the years on YouTube. This was one of my favorites, Kana Poly Coast. Now look what happens when you create it with a palette knife. And Whoa. it just has this, such depth and, and beauty, doesn't it? And it, so we're going to show you how to do that. Um, I like to introduce um, old dead artists to our gang. There's been a lot of people painting besides Monet and, and, and Picasso and, and Van Gogh. And I, we, one of the things our channel does is introduce you to some of these guys. This particular artist um, was what was, was called the first... Um, now, I'm gonna, now I forget what he called himself. He, was, uh, not, he wasn't an impressionist. He was... Um, He's absolutely impressionist. No, he is, was an impressionist, but that's not what he called no, he himself. Can't. It was not the impressionist movement. It was the, well, watch the video and find out because <laughs> I forget what it was. It didn't last long. No, it didn't and, last um, that long at all. And his bio is hysterical, right? And we're yeah. gonna, you're going to hear a little bit more about him. Um, one of the last ones we did was, this was a really, really uh, popular uh, painting on YouTube. Look what happens, and we did a little six by eight of this um, on YouTube. Look what happens when we turn it into an eight by ten, and really give it some some texture. Now all these lessons are eight by ten, so make sure you yeah, have they're all eight by tens. They're all eight by tens. We're using we're using a, a palette knife like this, uh, sort of a Bob Ross shape. This was a, one from Jerry's um, Artorama, uh, but you know a shape like this. Probably ninety percent of them are done with a, sort of a short round. You just something that's kind of short. They're all metal, kind of has a rounded tip. This is a smaller one, which is just a little tiny bit like that. And I think we've got a nice long one like this with a, a nice edge. I'm going to show you what you can do with some of those. We're also using something called a golden modeling paste, uh, which is very uh, handy to have. You don't need a giant tub of this. Um, honestly, I, I mean, I've been using this for years. I keep writing the date on it when the last time I used it was. And I love the Golden products because their lids really stay tight. If it's four or five years old, they haven't just become solid rocks if you've closed them properly. We're using that and also something called um, a, a, a high, high gloss gel. High all right. solid gel. High solid gel. All right. So uh, that could be a Liquitex or whatever. These are some of the things we're using. Um, 
and then of course you know our normal brushes and a pin, no unusual uh, paint colors that I know of but you guys remember this one too this was F Far Horizons was was the last acrylic April a live show that we did and again these rocks were done with a palette knife now happily and I say this you know happily the where did the picture go now I keep looking for that I think I have it and then it disappears one of our most very most popular videos we've ever done on YouTube is this one on how to do a palette knife so if you haven't watched this yet go back I'd say go back and watch the introduction to this video on how to use a palette knife there's a couple on we have a, actually a palette knife playlist and but I would definitely say this is an, a must watch to see how to um, uh, you know how to use your knives and right now I'm going to do a brief demonstration um, just taking a little canvas like this and I'm going to just show you a few little things that you could do with a palette knife I want you to get excited about this I hope that you find this is to be fun uh, find this fun and do you have my daisy picture I want to show that too and uh, maybe put it in the frame I want to show you then the last our last video before we return home our last one is not a palette knife anymore it's that uh, we've gone back to a brush and see how much of uh, this um, this is our very last video we're going to do and we're not doing a pal I did not do a palette knife on this but I would recommend maybe using the modeling paste on these daisies if you get the hang of it when you do this video I didn't take the time to do it but that would be something you'll know how to do it by the time you watch all these others but isn't this a cool painting so these are all these are the videos that are coming up for the uh, month of May and part of June and again here's our little palette knives now let me just show you uh, the way I hold a palette knife is kind of lay it out in my hand kind of like this I'm might mainly using these edges so it, you know like this and sometimes I'll drag and what you like I like to flatten my paint like for instance here's um here's a, and maybe do a few multiple colors like that and not mix it very well and then kind of wipe off the brush now look here I'm going to just scrape that up and then I'm just going to see how I can just sort of maybe make some straight you know lines like this or I can pull it down like this okay so when you're talking about using a palette knife um, these are some things you could practice at home with your leftover paint maybe you've been inspired to paint something look at that see you kind of wiggle it back and forth and see what isn't that pretty kind of looks like a bacon rock doesn't it you guys ever seen bacon rock all right so look at that so that's something you know those are some of the things it's generally better to have thick heavy body paint with these um, somebody said well when do you use the gels if you're do we, we're doing everything 8 by 10 and that's what I recommend but if you were not doing it 8 by 10 now look see barely touching it and I've got some other effect all right so often you'll see pal abstracts done with a palette knife because it's so it's because you can do such beautiful things with that right you can really play with the colors and um, you'll see an abstract done like this maybe with the palette knife Be and you can play with the colors but that's how you might use a knife like this um, a longer knife one like this sometimes it's nice to scrape something off very flat and then use just the edge of it like this come up see just the edge of it do a test make sure that you've got it flat enough and the blade is clean do a test okay so let's see I don't think I have enough paint there let's just let's get some paint here where you can see it um, I think I'm gonna have to put some white paint out I hate to put any more paint out but I feel like you have gotta be able to see it um, here I just need a lighter color so you can see it against this dark background all right there you go now I'm going to clean it off maybe I'll pull it this way well this this little bit of paint here like this and maybe I'll just do a test it's a painting uh, you know a, a a big edge like this something like this can do good straight lines can do straight lines which is very handy if you have trouble painting straight lines um, let's see let's just do a little here's a liquid paint you know this is more of your um, you know your flow paints and I can show you what that happens when you do that I don't recommend it but if you have some fluid paints you won't get unless you add a gel to it you won't get the thickness but you still can get you can still get um, you can still get something right like that okay 
but you're not going to get the, um, let's see, let's just dump more of that on there so you can really see it. I want a very, very thin line, so I'm going to flatten this out and just take it like this. And I'm going to touch it like that. Yeah, so the straighter the knife is, the thinner the line. See the straighter up it is? And if you bend it over, it fattens out. It fattens out, see? So I'm just showing you that so that when you play with this, when you have the fun of uh, playing, and I say, and I want you to practice with this, just with your paints, right? There, see? So, I mean, I don't know. We're not making anything particularly. I'm just showing you how to use the knives. And the, I find for small paintings, the little ones are, the, to me, the easiest to use. Um, these are absolutely the, probably the easiest to use, the, these little ones, because... Um, uh, you have a lot of control over something small. And again, you'll see constantly see me flattening out the paint, don't you? Um, let me put a little more color in here. This is, I just got through painting those daisies, and so I think that those black-eyed Susans. So th there you go. Now, you can use your palette knife also like this. It can be done with a um, with texture, so it doesn't have to be just thin stuff. You can come up here and say, well, I'm going to do a little bit of texture and drop a little bit of texture somewhere. Um, so you really need to get out that white paint. Where did that white paint go? Uh, we, we've just been painting all afternoon, so here. Okay, sorry. All right, let's get this over here in a new place. All right, so I want to show you that. So here's the white. Put a little bit of green with it. There we go. All right, so now you can... Um, besides layering it, you can also create, you can create buildings, you can create boxes, you can create shapes, you can create leaves. You almost make it into a lionfish. I know, I could, I could turn this later, I could turn this into something. You know that? It would be pretty. Well, maybe in, on another uh, live show, I'll turn this into a lionfish. What do you guys think about that? Let's see if I can't make a lionfish out of this. Um, that's, I'm almost kind of, that, that's almost kind of fun, isn't it? Um, so, again, you can layer it. You need to dry in between. Don't just keep piling on wet paint like you see me doing tonight. <laughs> um, you know, again, you can, you can play. You just barely touch it with a knife like this. Get a little bit of glob of that and a layer. But if you, if you keep, keep it wet, eventually all your colors will melt in together, which is why you want to at some point... Um, you're going to want to dry it. You're going to dry it. You want to dry it. So this is what I'm going to suggest. Just play with your... Um, uh, leftover paints? Play with your leftover paints. <coughs> get, the, get the habit of... See if you can make some thin lines like that. See if you can... Um, you know... And remember, if it's too wet, it won't do it. You know, it, find out when it works and when it doesn't. That's such a wet paint there, so I can't get a thin, a thin line there because there's a wet glob of paint there. Understand how, but maybe I can over here, even though these little ones are not ideal for that. Look, I can still, and you want the blade, you want your, your knife to have the, um, to be very cl uh, clear, clean. Here, just to add, just on the edge. See, you can get some very thin lines like that, right? Well, this is kind of fun, right? All right, so I'm having fun with this. I don't know what this is, but it was pretty, and I got I got sucked into making it for you. So that's kind of what your palette knife, your palette will look like when you're all done. Uh, can you come back and add like something like this and barely touch it, and it's just. See, look, I just want to cr almost create an abstract out of this now just because I want some color on it. And you can just, you know, yeah, you can, but you've got to, um, what you know, you've got to ask yourself, when do you want to do it? And how, if you keep, if you keep pushing on it, it's all going to become one color, kind of like this mess over here. See, that's all one color now, which you don't want to do. So dry between, practice. <coughs> I look forward to you know hearing your um, 
your comments and our videos. I hope you'll join us on the premieres, and we'll be um, just join us. And and as John and I, uh, you know, are looking forward to um, watching these fabulous uh, palette knife step-by-step uh, -step tutorials with you guys. And see you then. Thanks, see you everyone. In the month of May. Thanks very much. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and be sure to ring the bell so you're notified. And how are they going to find out about this, John? How are they going to know? Because we, we don't have a set time when we're doing these. They've um, got to subscribe, and they have to have their bell set. They have to have bell set, and also it would be good to be a member of our Facebook club. So announcing the Facebook club as we put the schedule up. <coughs> yeah. Because we're going to be in different time zones, and we're not sure when we're going to be up to be able to do it. So we don't know. We can't give a time yet. We can't give a time yet because we'll be overseas. We'll be in Europe. Okay? Europe. All right. Take care, you guys. We'll see you then. Bye, everyone. Bye. Well, you guys, I don't think I can look at another commercial about how to unstop the toilet, or um, maybe you two can learn to draw. That you know, we we have to have those in our video in order to kind of cover some costs. But I thought it would be fun as long as we were doing it to put a commercial in for ourselves. So here's the here's the commercial from me to you. I want you to have a wonderful day. I want you to be the artist you can be. I want you to get up in the morning and say, today's the day I'm going to be happier than I was yesterday. This is my commercial in wishing you the bestest, happiest day of your life. And art hugs from John and I. I'm a student, I say with glee, of Ginger Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.